Hey guys, so today we, so that was the ED8s um, pickup piles and we'll, let's go over the decks. So this deck is one of my favorite decks and it is a very good deck. I like it a lot. Um, it is my burn deck. So we have four sacred foundries and I'm getting a lot better at playing it. Looks like four, five, six, seven, eight, eight mountains. And then I believe there's nine fetch lands. Yeah, four. So I don't have arid macers. I'm hoping there is a reprint. So I just have one tarn and then four blood stains and four wooded foothills. Obviously, if arid macers in eternal masters, that would be very good for this deck because then I can maybe put in. Well, you don't actually want planes because you don't need it actually. Uh, four lightning bolts, uh, two skull cracks. For Edilon's uh, Pyromancer, I still like Young Pyromancer. I know he's being replaced by a lot of other cards in burn decks, but this is a straight up burn. Uh, Blaze, two blazes for Boar Charms. And then this card, I do want to talk about this card a little bit because I think it's extremely underrated. Shard Volley. Shard Vo Volley is pretty much Lightning Bolt, but you have to sacrifice a land. I don't need more than two land. And that's the beauty of this deck is it operates on two land, so you can keep you really don't want land. Four bolts, four spikes, uh, monastery. I do like monastery. I was playing with Gitaxian Probe just so I could pump this card up, but that was not a good idea. Uh, two rifts. I guess we have. Oh, this is a sideboard. So that's the sideboard. I Nahori is Nahari is too slow for this deck. Uh, it just is a little too slow, and I tested her out. I really did want to play her. Uh, two blazes on the sideboard for this card is very very good obviously when Delver was the number one deck this was a amazing card uh, two for one but there's still a lot of birds of paradises a lot of noble hierarchs everywhere uh, you do get some value normally it is kill a creature deal one damage which is a very important because every damage counts uh, wax and so wear and tear uh, crumble to dust and stony silence Again, you just operate on two. Like, you don't need more than two. That's why the Shard Volley is actually very good. I don't want to play four of them because it's kind of awkward um, if you draw them in multiples. But as a one of or a two of in your hand, it's perfectly fine to play out and it does enough damage. So if you are trying, if you do the math and you're trying to do free damage a card, you need to draw two lands, play seven cards. So if you play a card turn one, play two turn three, or turn two, and pay, play uh, two on turn three, and they're burning themselves, you can beat them turn four easily with this deck. Uh, and it's very little interaction unless they're playing life gain. Uh, the deck is extremely, considering modern, and if you didn't want the fetch lands, you could take out the fetch lands, and they wouldn't impact the deck significantly. The fetch lands are not necessary in my opinion they may add like an extra one percentage of winning but it's not significant at all so you can make this deck extremely cheap uh the stony silences are kind of pricey but uh, outside of that there's really no other i mean you're just playing commons and that's why i love the deck because it's the starter deck and i can lend the deck out and not feel like oh you know if something goes wrong it's just i can just make a copy of this deck quite easily and so yeah, I lend this deck out a lot when someone needs a deck for a modern tournament because I'm not necessarily afraid of getting it back. It would be nice if I get it back every time, but hey. Anyway, bye guys.